Let's take a tour of our 24-foot school bus conversion. This is a 1999 International 3800 with a Bluebird body. The bus has 58,000 original miles and it's powered by a T444E motor. That's also known as the diesel 7.3 power stroke. The transmission is an Allison 545. It's painted in Summit Racing's metallic blue. It has factory tinted windows. All of the signal lights have been upgraded with LEDs. This is a very well appointed conversion. It has a plush leather driver's seat. Behind the driver's seat you'll see the electrical components. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. We have a refrigerator, a sink, and a stove with two burners. A nice comfortable couch. There's a full-size bed in the back. The bus has air conditioning, heat, hot water, 200 watts of solar panels, we have a wet bath with an RV toilet, a 40 gallon fresh water tank, a 38 gallon gray water tank, a 31 gallon black tank. The bus comes with fresh linens. There's plenty of storage in the back. We have cabinetry and a slide away closet feature. There's also smaller drawers and doors here next to the bed. As we look at the bathroom, you will see there is a removable shower head, tile, it's an RV toilet which also has a spray wand, and a sliding door. Moving back out towards the kitchen, we have a nice tile accent, stainless steel sink, two burner propane stove, and a slide away trash can. The refrigerator has a programmable thermostat which allows it to act as a refrigerator or a freezer depending on your storage needs. Just to the left we have more storage. These are birch butcher block countertops. On the other side we have more counter space and cabinetry. The bus does come with all new dishes and silverware, and you will also see our curtain storage under there. The curtains are magnetic and go all the way around the bus for maximum privacy. The electronic heart of this bus is contained in or underneath this box. You'll see we have a 30 amp power distribution unit on the right. Underneath is the on off switch for the 2000 watt inverter. Also, a propane gas detector. There is a 12 volt water pump with tank indicators and underneath that is a shutoff for all 12 volt in the bus. To the left is the power controller for the solar panels. That is a 40 amp MPPT controller with Bluetooth capability. On the wall above the box we have the remotes for the air conditioning, the heat, and the tankless hot water heater. As we look inside the box, we will see a transfer switch. We will see the 2000 watt inverter. Underneath the floor is a 100 amp hour auxiliary battery. Our power distribution unit has two AC circuits and seven DC circuits. There is the controller for the solar panels. All of these are appropriately fused and grounded. There are solar panels on the roof. Here are some additional USB plugs and the bus's controls. We have added a always-on backup camera and here you will see the exact mileage of the bus. The interior is lit by a series of movable magnetic rechargeable lights with motion sensing capability. Now looking in from the back door, you'll see that under the bed there is 33 cubic feet of storage. On the left is the plumbing, including the water pump, and there is an AC plug there as well. You'll see a carbon monoxide detector, the fresh water tank, an included sewage line, and the box for the 20 pound propane tank, which is vented to the exterior. Here is the inside of the retractable closet with a little bit of additional storage, a 50-foot 30-amp power cord with various adapters 
and a water hose and filter are also included. Looking more closely at some of the exterior features of the bus, you'll see the two spotlights over the driver's cab. We have the water inlet. We have some of the exterior door locks and the valves for the black and gray tanks. Here are the two starter motor batteries and there is the hot water heater and you will also see the exhaust for the heater which is plumbed directly into the diesel tank. And there is a two inch trailer hitch on the back of the bus for transporting your toys. And finally we'll take a look at the engine bay. We have just replaced the oil and the oil filter. We've replaced the fuel filter, the drive belt, and the transmission filter. We hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough and enjoy your travels.